A very good morning, sixth class. Today we will cover TG for your history book, chapter number three, four. The early in the earliest city. ठीक है? इसको हम already cover कर चुके हैं. आज हम इसकी जो है DT class cover करेंगे. देखो, तो हमने देखा था ना कि जो हमारी oldest city है. सबसे जो है स्टार्टिंग सिटीज में से एक है आपकी हड़प्पन सिटी ठीक है तो हम यहाँ पे पढ़ेंगे हड़प्पन सिविलाइजेशन के बारे में कि कैसे जो है हड़प्पन सिटी में क्या क्या होता था क्या कैसे वो ग्रो किया कैसे ग्लोरी करी और कैसे डिक्लाइन यानी कि कैसे फिर वो जो है खत्म हो गया ठीक है The Harappan civilization is believed to have thrived from 2600 BC. To 1900 BC. The most cities of this ancient civilization extend from Harappa in the northwest to Lothal in Gujarat. The Harappan civilization is also named after a river that flows through it. Can you guess the name of this river? The Harappan civilization is also known as the Indus Valley Civilization because the main cities of this civilization are located around the river Indus. So students, we have already read that the Indus River is the one that flows from India to Pakistan. So with this river, we call the Indus Valley Civilization because the Indus Valley Civilization is situated here. The land around the river Indus was very fertile. This made it an excellent place to plant crops and build cities. Besides, the Himalayas in the north would safeguard the Indus Valley from violent winds. Like the cities of today, the ancient Harappan cities were well planned. They had advancements that one might consider unthinkable for such an ancient civilization. It was the people and their innovations that made the civilization great. The Harappans played different roles that contributed to the glory of the civilization. The rulers took great care to plan the city. They oversaw the city. The scribes wrote important messages on seals and other materials. Harappans had developed their own script. Trained specialists polished beads, bangles, earrings, necklaces, and other ornaments. Harappans might have traveled far and wide to obtain the metals used to create these ornaments. ऑलरेडी हमने पढ़ा था ना कि कैसे जो स्पेशलाइज्ड लोग होते थे वो ही जो है अपने अपने अलग अलग फील्ड के काम करते थे जैसे अभी हमने देखा कि ये जो ऑर्नामेंट्स है जो गहने हैं वो कौन लोग बना रहे हैं जो गहने बनाने में जो है एक्सपर्ट हैं और वो गहने बनाने के लिए सामान जो है जैसे कि आपके ये बीड्स हो गए स्टोन्स हो गए इनको जो है बहुत दूर दूर से लाते होंगे The weavers wove cloth from cotton, 
by using spindles. The Harappans might have grown cotton. Some craftspeople worked with metal and created beautiful statues and figurines and pots. Other craftspeople worked with stone and clay. and made beautiful pots and terracotta toys in the workshop. Some vehicle-shaped toys were found by archaeologists. This indicates that the Harappans used bullock carts as a mode of transport between the city and farms. Because students, what are you telling us? That here are some bullock carts that are made of toys. I mean, the shape of the shape of the toys. So, what do you know from archaeologists? That when they are made of the shape of the shape of the shape, then they are made of the shape of the bullock carts. Also, Harappans probably had an irrigation system because the region did not receive enough rainfall. Also, toy models of plows were found, indicating that the Harappans probably plowed fields. Harappans grew crops like wheat, pulses and rice and reared animals. It is also possible that they caught fish and hunted wild animals. This flourishing Harappan civilization came to an end around 1900 BC. How it ended is a mystery. Of the many suggested reasons, the most popular is that Aryans violently entered this region and overthrew the people. Another suggested reason is that soil erosion and the drying up of water resources caused their downfall. Some archaeologists suggest that the river in dust began to change its course. This resulted in flooding and destruction of the civilization. The 
अब हम स्टूडेंट रिकैप करते हैं हड़प्पन सिविलाइजेशन का डेमोग्राफिक्स देखते हैं सबसे पहले डेट छब्बीस सौ से लेकर उन्नीस सौ बीस के बीच का ये पीरियड है जब ये सिविलाइजेशन होती थी मेजर सिटीज कौन कौन सी थी हड़प्पा थी मोहनजोदाड़ो और लोथल थी ठीक है रिवर इंडस फ्लो थ्रो द सिविलाइजेशन ये रिवर इंडस के जो है किनारों पे ये सिविलाइजेशन जो है ग्रो हुई थी और इंडस रिवर भी यहाँ पे फ्लो होती थी हिमालयन रेंज इज टू द नॉर्थ यानी कि हिमालयन रेंज कहाँ पे पड़ता है सिविलाइजेशन के नॉर्थ में ठीक है एडवांसमेंट देखते हैं क्राफ्ट क्रिएटेड टॉयल जूजरी क्लोथ एक्सेट्रा तो ये सब चीज़ें जो है हमें यहाँ पे फाउंड आउट फाउंड आउट हुई है जिससे हमें पता चलता है कि इस तरीके के क्राफ्ट यहाँ पे जो है बनते होंगे स्क्रिप्ट क्रिएटेड विद राइटिंग डन बाय स्क्राइब्स यानी कि स्क्रिप्ट स्क्रिप्ट क्या होती है लिखी हुई जो चीज़ें हैं वो कौन लिखता था स्क्राइब्स उनको अपनी भाषा में जो है तब की जो भाषा थी उसमें लिखते थे ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम क्या है अभी हमने देखा क्योंकि हमें बुलक कार्ड के टॉयज मिले हैं है ना ऐसे टॉयज जो कि बुलक कार्ड के शेप के बने हैं तो हमें पता चलता है कि ट्रांसपोर्ट के लिए वहाँ के लोग जो है बुलक कार्ड को यूज करते होंगे इरीगेशन एंड एग्रीकल्चरल सिस्टम यहाँ पे क्या था अच्छा तो लोग खेती करते थे और इरीगेशन की फैसिलिटी कहाँ से यूज करते थे वो इंडस रिवर से अब ये डिक्लाइन कैसे हुई इसकी जो थेरीज है वो क्या क्या बताती है कैसे खत्म हुई आर्यन इन्वेजन एंड डिफीट ऑफ हड़प्पन हो सकता है आर्यन जो थे उन्होंने यहाँ पे जो है हमला किया हो यहाँ पे जो है वो घुस गए हो और उन्होंने जो है हड़प्पन को हरा दिया हो या फिर हो सकता है सॉइल इरोजन एंड ड्राइंग अप ऑफ वाटर रिसोर्सेज यानी कि हो सकता है पानी के जो सोर्सेज हैं वो खत्म हो गए हों और सारी मिट्टी जो है सूख गई हो सूखा पड़ गया हो और लोगों को खाने के लिए कुछ नहीं मिला और धीरे धीरे लोग मर गए और हड़पन सिविलाइजेशन जो है आपकी खत्म हो गई तीसरा जो थेरी है वो ये कहती है कि हो सकता है यहाँ पे फ्लड आ गया हो ड्यू टू द कोर्स चेंज ऑफ कोर्स ऑफ रिवर इंडस रिवर इंडस का जो है कोर्स यानी कि जो उसका जो घुमाव है जो नदी का बहाव है वो चेंज हो गया हो और यहाँ पे बाढ़ आ गई हो और ये सिविलाइजेशन जो है खत्म हो गई हो तो ये सारी क्या है इसकी ये सिविलाइजेशन कैसे खत्म हुई इसके बारे में कुछ थेरीज हैं अब हम देखते हैं सिटी प्लान कि कैसे सिटी को प्लान किया गया था ठीक है पूरी सिटी को किस तरीके से प्लान किया गया था घर कैसे बने हुए थे वो सब The Harappan civilization is believed to have thrived from 2600 BC to 1900 BC on the banks of the river Indus. These cities were well planned and their layouts were identical. Of the ancient Harappan cities discovered, the biggest is Mohenjo-daro. Mohenjo-daro means mound of the dead. These are images of the city today. But there was a time when Mohenjo-daro was alive and flourishing. Let's enter the city to see what it was like more than 4000 years ago. Like all ancient cities of Harappa, Mohenjo-daro was divided into two parts. The citadel on the west and the lower town on the east. The Lower town on the east occupied most part of the city. Harappan cities had well-planned streets and houses. The citadel occupied a smaller area, and it was built at a height. 
the rulers and the wealthy lived here. Important structures like the Great Bath and the Granary were also located here. Let's take a closer look at one of the most prominent sculptures of the Harappan civilization, the Great Bar, which was built in the citadel area of Mohenjo-daro. was about 12 meters long and 7 meters wide. It was well built with bricks, plaster and a layer of natural tar to keep the water from seeping through the walls. The pool for the public was in the middle. storage place for food crops. It had bays from where carts could enter to drop off grains. And it had ducts for air circulation needed for the stored grain. How similar do you think Harappan houses were to present day houses? Discuss this in your classroom. The Harappan houses were also incredibly built. They were one or two stories high. These houses had rooms built around the courtyard. and they had wells for water. Harpons used the same size bricks which were arranged in an interlocking style. A 
Ours is also had a bathing platform with a small crane at the side. This led into the street. Harappa had an extensive drainage system. The drains from the houses were connected to drains in the streets. And the smaller drains always connected to the larger ones. The drains had an advanced design. They were covered and sloped so that water flowed easily through them. Let us recall what we now know about Harappan cities. Harappan cities were all well planned, like the city of Mohenjo-daro. They were divided into two parts, the citadel and the lower town. The citadel had important structures like the great bath and the grand. The lower town was for the common people. The houses were one or two stories high and had a bathing area and well. The drains from houses were well connected to the streets. All of these features indicate that ancient Harappa was as advanced as some of the planned cities of the world today.